All right, guys, it's the Blue Shirt Crew, and we're here at Union Bridge. Uh, this was 100% not planned. Hey guys, Pete here. Today we have a fun little video where I'm gonna show you a few things that'll make you a better kayaker on your next river adventure. Today we're gonna go over the V, boat angle, and boat speed. Let's start with the V. So when you're picking your way down a river, you basically are picking lines through rapids. And you can even break up rapids with multiple lines within the same rapid. Now in the whitewater world, this can get very complicated with all kinds of factors playing into the equation. But for the class 1-2 river paddler, this is usually pretty straightforward. You simply need to find the V or the tongue in most cases. Basically, as I approach this rapid, there's a protruding upside down V of smooth water, which I'm entering into now. That's gonna be where your most flow is, and you just ride that out and follow the current. And then we'll continue through the rapid. There at the yellow line, you'll see the darker shadows of the taller wave train. In smaller rapids, this is sometimes a little more subtle as your rapids increase in size and flow it will be very self-explanatory but don't worry about these wave trains they're very straightforward and in most cases are the smoothest ride you got to chase the flow and here you can see Kevin Adam and then Tracy are going to utilize the same V and just take the flow down through there giving them the best ride you can see they're handling that with almost no effort. Like a pro, On this next rapid, the entrance is a little more nuanced as there is an actual drop with the horizon line that prevents you from seeing the outflow of the rapid. However, as the yellow line shows, there is still a V pointing the direction and two guys looking a little too alike. That's ridiculous. But anyway, you see Adam entering at the V and he's on his way. And there goes Pete over the lip and as I navigate through these little rocks and boulders we come to the second sort of V and that is the outflow V as you see here. And it's basically the long outflow of white water that shows you where the current is moving downstream versus the dark water where there is an eddy. And sometimes that's your indicator. If you can't see the best route from above the rapid, look for the outflow. There you see Kevin and now Tracy coming down. Nothing to it, right into the outflow. And that's just another example of the V that will help you find your line. And here's my son who's been paddling with me for about six years. And unfortunately he got a little bit lazy and when you do that, the river makes you pay. His first swim ever and I cut it on camera. And there's the V and the left red X there is that pillow rock that took him down. And uh, we were all laughing, smiling. It's good for you to swim every now and then. Next, we got to start stringing together the line through a boulder garden or an elongated rapid. And there you see Tracy ahead of me has picked the correct line, but uh, doesn't maneuver to the right. And you see just right here, he gets locked up on a little pillow rock. And unfortunately for me, I was able to see that. And there I depict the correct line uh, between the two pillow rocks. Here is a very pronounced V. Unfortunately, that V leads directly into a rock, which we're gonna to need to avoid. So now we introduce the concept of boat angle, which is basically the direction your boat is pointing in relation to the current's direction, which is depicted by the blue line. That current will take you right into the rock, so I camp my boat to the right, 
in order to miss the rock and I can start paddling through the rapid towards the right, sort of like yawing an airplane. And there you see the new V's, one around the rock to the right and one between the rocks to the left. And that is the sequential picking the line one after another. And this next clip is a tricky little spot and I'll highlight Tracy. As you see the first V is happening here. I need to get boat angle to my right. And you're looking at the tail boom. So as I try to get boat angle to the right, I can miss the rock that's going to be on my left. And I do that, and you see the current is forcing itself around those two rocks. We do not want to go to that route. So we are passing by using boat angle right. And under the boat now are some small rocks, and they'll come into play in a minute. But you see Tracy at the top is having a hard time achieving the correct boat angle, and he's pointed right at the rocks. All hazards are in red. So your options are the first V or the second one, basically where I'm sitting, and that's the one we're shooting for. So Tracy needs to get his boat angle far to the right. So he back paddles, forward strokes. So here you see Tracy with correct boat angle, but unfortunately he does not introduce enough boat speed, which is your boat speed in relation to the speed of the current. And so the upper blue line just sails him into those red rocks. If he had gotten his boat speed up early, he would have broken free of the current and missed that. And you see him kind of realizing that a little too late there. And that's basically the thing with boat speed is you basically want to approach rapids with very little boat speed so that you can make your boat do things in relation to the current. If you're coming in their full speed, it's going to be really hard to, you know, make a boat angle left or right and then break free of the current and uh, get through somewhere, which is exactly what we're gonna have to do in this next rapid. And this is a pretty tricky little rapid, and it's gonna be one that you're gonna have to do just right to make it smooth. As you see, the V is basically steering you directly into the center rock, which will be a piton rock. Now a piton is basically when you ram your bow or stern directly into a rock and it is usually classified as a negative experience. And so here you see the play-by-play -play on the rapid. The piton rock is directly in the flow of the rapid which is depicted by the blue arrow. The red bars are indicating a closed section of the rapid due to piton or just no flow. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is boat angle left, pretty heavy, almost parallel to the current, which is shown by the green arrow, and then start paddling, but not too fast, and maintaining that correct boat angle. And as I get close to the slot, I will pick up a little speed and basically take that line through that curler. And so we will give you a demonstration of the rapid done correctly. And then Yackleberry will demonstrate the rapid almost done correctly. Okay, so I've just come out of the eddy. My boat angle is perfect. The blue arrow is the direction of the water. And now that I have the correct boat angle and I'm basically going in the right direction, I don't want to overdrive it yet. I don't want too much boat speed, so I pause. And now I go ahead and initiate my boat speed, keeping the boat angle and the orange circle is the key factor here, and that is my boof stroke. And a boof stroke happens not just on waterfall lips, but basically anywhere where you wanna change the angle of attack of your kayak. So moving forward with right and left strokes has gotten me this far, but the right side or downstream side boof stroke will keep my bow from washing downstream into the piton it will keep my boat angle to the left, but it also changes the angle of attack of my hull of the kayak from leaning right. After the boost stroke, I will be leaning left as I exit the rapid. So it, the boost stroke initiates that change, which in eddying out or going over lips uh, of waterfalls or different features, that's gonna be critical. For class one, two, it just keeps your boat angle right and it's very critical piece of the equation for this rapid. So boost stroke downstream side and right through the slot. 
just as easy as that and there was a lot going on there and don't expect to do that right the first time and here's the same rapid looking backwards and uh, now we have Adam Adam's gonna attempt to do this rapid and this is a pretty big step up for him he's in the Yukon and he's going for it now Adam uh, almost entered the rapid and then we waved him off and he reset because his boat angle was wrong this time he's approaching with the correct boat angle but uh, understandably nervous he begins to flattle a little bit and if you'll watch his strokes a lot's going on but he's not going far he misses that stroke corrects and right at this moment he's got the right boat angle unfortunately his eyes are looking at the piton and where you look is very important he also places an upstream or offside boof stroke and unfortunately that left boof stroke and his focus on the piton is going to, as the red arrow depicts, slam his nose into the wrong part of the rapid, killing his boat angle. And there it is. He wiggles around, keeps it upright, and all in all, that is considered a successful run of that rapid. It wasn't the prettiest run, and we've all been there. But hats off to Adam for trying it out. Uh, he was the only other one that tried that one. And I'll leave you here with one more V uh, depiction. As I enter the rapid, I do not freeze frame and show it to you because I'll just bet you saw it on your own this time. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you all learned something. And next time you're out on the river, give some of these tips and techniques a try and see if it doesn't make you a better paddler. Look at him go. Thanks to Kevin the Wondering Electrician, Tracy with Rubber Duck Productions, and Yackleberry for joining me on the river today. Right now, I'm taking on the mighty uh, crawling up a hill with 500 yards with kayaks. So.